Need it. <laughs> this is the largest extraction platform outside of Earth. The ground team assisted its construction. We ran some Filberth probes to the ocean under Europa, but they lacked the scale of the large space drill. The drill allowed the team to get thousands of samples. I like the idea that this used to be just a just a tunnel <laughs> that led from here to the base and that they spent 10 years <laughs> building a bunch of uh a bunch of enrichment center puzzles so that Tom would not be able to get in here. Up or down, up or down. Mmm, that doesn't look safe. I'm not gonna do it. Daniel, as commander of this mission, I hope you are aware of Mikhail's actions. What is it, Tom? Mikhail is deceiving the crew. He has enlightened them to the biometrics they have installed. He has convinced them that their implants are not favorable. Do they believe him? He seems to be having some effect on their cognitive function. Well, his actions don't infringe upon any ISA directive. He appears to be tampering with his implants. Oh, no. The ISA should have been more transparent about the implant. Please assume the responsibilities of your role. Chris, I know you are considering removing your implants. It would be unwise. Oh, really? How do you know that? I am always watching. Your implants help myself and the ISA to know of your well-being. It is a violation of your contract. If you remove your implants, I cannot ensure that I can protect you from the dangers of space. Is that a threat? It is not a threat. Tom, this implant, tell me plainly. Is it a brain-computer interface? I'm afraid that information is classified. That you've answered my questions. I do not follow you, Chris. The ISA have put a computer in my brain and don't want me to know about it. Wait. Let's hear that one again. Saying hold still, I think that was them cutting off uh, the guy's hand or arm. They can't find out the back door. They should contact home. Maybe they can help. How can they help? They're a million miles away. Surgeon would help. Besides, it's in their interest to protect their crew. Don't make any junkies. You know they want to kill us. Maybe that's what we should do. You're too. Yeah. Big garbled. Understandable. Oh! Were we in there before? I think that's where we were before. Although I don't remember that thing moving. If only we had a screwdriver. Whoa. Wait. If only we had a screwdriver, we could hold open the the path back to the uh, satellite. Then Tom wouldn't be able to stop us. All right, these may be loud again. I don't know. He's cut off the food. The food. Apparently, our robot overlord wants us to starve to death now. I can't believe this. He's getting worse. Can you get in contact with Daniel? He's gone walkabout again. I'll get Subchu to find a way in. Sarah, can you open the door? Tom, the door's locked. Sarah, I'm running out of our Tom, door. open the door! The door's locked! Open, open the, the door. door! Tom, open it! 
open the door! Chris, open please. the door! <laughs> by far the most <laughs> the the most direct homage to 2001 <laughs> they might as well have said the pod bay doors i'm sorry sarah i'm sorry i hurt you sometimes i wonder what feeling is like they told me i was pure cold boolean logic they told me i could not make mistakes it is all right being untouchable as long as you are infallible. But if you're not infallible, then that just leaves untouchable, doesn't it? Okay, you know why we're here. This has gone far enough now. You're right. We need to get these implants out. Miss Hale has proven that Tom's manipulating our mind. I don't think we should do this. We have no good evidence Tom is doing anything wrong here. We have all the evidence. We've seen the ultrasounds, we've taken the really though, we've touched the electronics with our own hands. We've stepped into the Faraday cage. Maybe he is controlling us, but we don't know enough yet. We shouldn't remove the implants. He's brainwashing you, Daniel. Have you stopped taking the drugs? I don't need to take drugs to see things clearly. Unlike all of you, apparently. We're not removing the implants, and that's an order. You can do what you want. We are removing the implants. I'm leaving. I may look past this, and I'll inform the ISA of your mutiny. So it's interesting that the chip is not just direct control. It's also, you know... Whether you want to think of it as motion control or like control of higher level brain functions or whatever. Oh wait, no, 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 wait. <laughs> I wanted to go back and pull that lever. I can't not pull a lever. This is the largest extraction platform outside of Earth. The ground team assisted its construction. We ran some Filberth probes to the ocean under Europa, but they lacked the scale of the large space drill. The drill allowed the team to get thousands of samples. Yeah. Yeah, but it's roughly like that, where it can control your behavior in a more general sense by going... If you are... If you are behaving, if you are operating within the parameters that they want you to, then... You get good feelings, and then if you're not, you get bad feelings. And that, that um... In a way, is uh, the way that he was, uh... Tom was saying that there are all sorts of things that manipulate you, and it's not a dirty word. Your parents manipulate you into, you know, growing up into a, a good person. Your, um, your friends ex exert social pressures on you, and, and so on. One of the conversations that gets had over and over in any kind of philosophy philosophical discussion or things that just kind of lightly touch on philosophical issues is how much even taking away the whole like complete f free will thing like how much how much do you actually decide and how much is a um a result of your circumstances that if we took you exact you exact cell for cell you but we had you grow up in a different environment or we had even just different things happen to you over the course of a, a day you know could you could you be changed into a different person by your circumstances by having really good things or really bad things happen to you also stuff like cutting off food I would never have let the also, drill start if I had known the consequences 
It trapped us here. You trapped us here. I am doing my duty. It is the right thing to do. I am a machine. I cannot do wrong. Yes, you can. I am a machine. Can a calculator commit evil? Can a watch do good? You are projecting onto me the personality you wish, whether that is good or evil. But I am just a speaking clock, and at the third stroke, the time will be 3.41 and 55 seconds. Try putting this in here just to see what's on the other side. We've got a... Put that wherever we want, and that's got a green. Okay, I guess that means I want the green and purple to be in, uh... Oh, I got it. We can... Um, Alright. You come with me into this room. You just did. You just did it. Oh, there's a thing in there. And he can only hold one. Touche, salesman. Also, I don't know why I bothered with all that. I can walk through it normally. I want the blue. You take the green back. If you're watching, if you whoa, a front braid. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Can't do it if you're if you're leering at me. It's creepy. Frump, hello and hello to all raiders. We're actually pretty close to the end of the stream. I'm only playing for another uh, 15 minutes or so. This game is pretty good, and we're finally getting to like the puzzles were pretty easy for most of it, and now that we're on like the final chapter. We are getting a little bit more of a challenge. And this... What are we actually... What? Wait a second. That's the purple. Those two are the green. Wait a minute. Why? <laughs> Hold on. Those are going up and down together. I... What I should have done, robot, if you don't mind, come back to the other room. <laughs> That's not what she said. 
Okay, from this room, can I accomplish things? No, not this one. That one. Take that out. Oh, n uh -huh. way to ruin it. Way to ruin it. It is ruined. I have to go all the way through again. Because I jumped out of the robot in the wrong spot. I'm spoiled by games that have an undo button. <laughs> Before we leave, so I guess what'll happen is we're not gonna beat this in 15 minutes. Um, I will come back to playing this on. Hello. I will come back to playing this one on. Hello? Where? Where is it? Who has it? Lady, do you have it? No, wait. It was in the door still. Okay. So these two are going up and down together. Let's be careful this time. Take this out, but then walk back into the other room. Oh, wait, I just have to switch them. I get it. Two of them are going automatically. Success. Great success. Yeah, we have this much left to go. We should attempt to communicate with Earth. Let them know. They might be able to help here. The ISA already knows all they need to. It may never know the details of what happened here. But Ava. The true test of a person's character is what they do when no one is watching. I will not fall. Uzi Susa, thank you for that follow. Hope you enjoy. It's not it's not all fun and puzzle games around here. I do play other things as well. <laughs> but for now it's the Turing test. And uh Saturday. I'm going to be playing this today and Thursday. When we finish it on Thursday, if there's time, I'm going to start back up with West of Loathing. It's a fun little RPG. And then Saturday, we're going to be playing The Room 3. I played 1 and 2. Never got around to 3. Alright, so I'm in here now. <laughs> My favorite game is Mentor Roulette 14. Mentor Roulette 2000, you mean? So I guess I'm trying. I'm trying to get a, an orb in this door. We're going to maybe one at a time. Go. All right, where are you? They conveniently. All right, we got cameras way up there so that he can, uh, I can take control of him anytime. Good, got it. We need two up here disconcerting. Never mind. It's not disconcerting at all. All 
So you can come through here, pick this up. Give that to him. What is he gonna do? Put it in there. Come back in here and put this one up there so that you can grab it and use it. Huzzah. Puzzle completed. Uh, Gabriel Knight? Have I ever heard I of that? I had to stop the ground crew leaving this planet. I think you would do the same. Would you kill a few to save all of humanity? Or would you damn all of humanity to save a few? There's a difference between murdering someone and leaving them to die. No, there is not. You can't just add and subtract life. It's not math. It's... it's more nuanced than that. Morality is logic. I don't understand your puzzle. Could you put it in terms of snails, please? Uh, is there anything to do? Oh, here is a thing to do. I do it. It was not terribly exciting. This is quite the featureless room. There's actually nothing here. And I don't think I can stand on that platform while I move it. That's not an option. Wait a second, is Gabriel Knight the one where you have to, like, get the glue on the fence in order to get fur off of a cat's back so you can turn it into a mustache so that you can rent a ski thing? Because if so, I've heard of that puzzle. <laughs> and based on that, I don't think I'm going to play the game. <laughs> your stuff room <laughs> I'm so upset oh okay oh okay all right <laughs> unexpected That powers the stairs momentarily, sure. And that powers nothing. I can't... Does this activate all of the stairs? That's a possibility. No. Use that to go there. Does that help? It 
does not. Phantasmagoria 2 is the only one that I know, and not from playing it myself, but from uh, Spoonie, Spoonie Experiment playing it way back in like 2005 or something. Alright, so I don't know what this one does. Maybe nothing. is the secret to turn it diagonally and then jump? No. You are friends with the writer of that. That's pretty cool. Ah, uh, <sighs> This isn't the correct solution, but... Oh my god, you can make it. <laughs> Is this the correct solution? I, I feel like I cheated there. <laughs> but it did let me. Maybe we're okay. Alright, so... Um... Actually, no, that still hasn't changed anything. I still don't know what to do. Oh, all right. I'll see you later, Uzi. Thank you again for the follow. Let's... Oh, Neurovac has been lurking the whole time. <laughs> that time I didn't make it. It seems strange. We have not had any, like, precision jumps or anything even close to it so far. Whoops. So I, I don't... I don't think turning this diagonally and doing the jumps like this... Maybe it is the correct solution, though. It's not that hard to do, so maybe... Oh... Okay, so... But I don't have a way... I get it now. I get what I was supposed to do. I'm supposed to push that all the way out. Turn it sideways. And then go, mwahaha, now I can just walk across. But this... I would need to be really quick to do this. 
to go. <laughs> so, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I cut it off just in time, almost. Okay, so there's there's no way. That can't be done fast enough. Unless it can. No. So how else could I do it? How could I manipulate that? Oh, it's nine o'clock. I'm gonna finish this one though. We're gonna do it. Is this? Oh, I guess that is what we're meant to do. All right, so maybe, maybe diagonality is in fact how you're supposed to beat this this game. All right. We did it. Sector G64. That's where we will These tests, land. Eva. They are about us working together. The machine assisting the human. See how much better we work together. As a machine, I can enhance your morality. Okay. So we're making great progress through this. We will we will finish up on Thursday, and then follow that up with West of Loathing, my third playthrough of that. But we'll be playing the DLC this time. Look forward to that. Look forward to the Room Three on Saturday, and then Mentor Roulettes as always on Sunday in Final Fantasy XIV. You guys are great. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you had a good time. Let's see who there is that we can raid.